What is your birthday? Yes, my birthday is uh, 12 July. 12 July. 1960. 1960. Mm -hmm. uh, same, same, yes, same, same year. Same year as Eric. Same year as Eric. Okay, voices okay? Fine? Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. right, sure. Yes. Okay. Go. Okay, Alaba. Yes. Last time that uh, we were videotaping, we talked um, about your childhood, how you came to Baba, you told mm -hmm. us many stories, then you read some Hafiz, and then I wanted to ask you about some other aspects of your personality, the things that uh, you look into, like sometimes you, you tell us your dreams and you interpret those things. Before we get into specific dreams, yes. I'd like to ask you, was it since you were a young man, or when did you start feeling that dreams have some meaning uh, for you and their interpretation? I tell you now, the first dream of me, which I saw in Bombay, it was 1941. I was very upset on Meher Baba because he issued a circular from uh, Bangalore. In that circular was that I will break my silence 1st August 1941 is speaking to myself and within myself. This will continue for six months. It ultimately it will come to 15 February 1942. Then Baba said in that circular that this is the day that the members of my cycle will get self-realization and money, uh, money, uh, my manifestation will be completed in the world. So. That, that circular came into Bombay in Persian language, in English, Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, and that came in thousands. Mm. Now, we Baba lovers in Bombay, we took the responsibility of, this, of distributing the circulars to the public. Mm. So, I took charge of the Persian because my mother tongue is of Persia, Persian. Mm -hmm. I'm from Iran, born in Iran. Sure. So, I used to go after finishing the work in the shop, I used to take my cycle. On, on the bicycle, I used to go to... There are 4,000 Iranian shops and restaurants in Bombay. I used to go to give them the circular. They would say, what is this? <laughs> Meher Baba? Meher Baba says, he says that he wants to say that I am uh, the expected one. Mm. How it be possible, you know? He said, you are a stupid person, and Meher Baba is also mad, mm. and they would ab abuse me, they wanted to beat me, this, that. <laughs> that why you say such things? It is blasphemy. Yeah. I would say, no, no, no. Meher Baba is author, God, and he will break his silence, and all will hear. They said, all right, let us see. Then uh, that uh, date of the circular was 15 March 1941. Circular came to Bombay after a month. We, I distributed it, or take about one month more. So, passing the time and watching the arrival of 1st August. 1st August 1941 came. In the morning, I awoke, said, now, Baba will break silence, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, then 1, 2, 3, 5. Even say, I said, to give him, to give one word, it not takes time even one second. Up to twelve o'clock, I was watching very, watching like that. Then the minute hand passed twelve. I became very disappointed. I said, "What is this? That Meher Baba? Why should Meher Baba uh, print such circular? What was the necessity of it?" I became very upset. Mm. For two, three days, I could not sleep, I could not eat. There was a big photo of Baba in my room in Bombay. Mm. And I would garland Baba. On the third night, 3rd August, I approached Baba in that way, that, Baba, why you did this thing? You make people more against you than before by breathing such circular, you know. You put me into the big harassment. Yeah. Now I can't go to the societies because, <laughs> because I, I can't show them my face to them. 
because they were already against you, now they have turned against me and this and that. Hmm. What is this? Yeah. Then at that night, I saw a wonderful dream. Hmm. This is my historical dream. Hmm. And I told this dream twice to Baba. Hmm. One time in Guru Prasad, Pune, and one time here at Merazat, Nandali Hall. The dream which I saw, I felt, I, I knew that I am in Iran, mm. in Persia, not any other place. I am in Iran. Then I was felt that, uh, I felt that, I felt that uh, there is, I am surrounded from all sides mm -hmm. with the killers. Mm. There were multitude of people killing each other with sword. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and they were from down up to here mm. covered with lungi, a piece of cloth. Yeah. But from up here up, they were all naked. But they were killing each other. They were not thousands. There were millions from one horizon to other horizon, from both sides. Mm. Then I saw, when I was standing behind me, I was shown a big caravansara. Mm. Caravansara. It is in English inn, I -E. the, the resting place for the travelers. Yeah. In Iran, 400 years ago, the king of Iran made this caravansara every 50 mile one. Mm. Because in those days, there were no, uh, the travelers wanted to go from one country to other country. Yeah. There, there were no tracks, mm -hmm. no trains. The, they would carry their merchandise mm -hmm. by mules and uh, horses and donkeys. And so it, it was built for them. Yeah. So now I saw where I was standing. Behind me, this was one caravansara, mm. one ground floor and one upper floor, mm. just two floors. And beside me, there was a big staircase, mm. one staircase of a stone staircase, very solid construction. Mm. And uh, then I was surprised, puzzled, what to do now? They were about 50 feet away, but killing each other with swords and coming towards me. I was trembling with fear. That time I saw a man in a black coat and black pants swiftly came from that side up. He passed me. He did not stop. He was in a very uh, terrible, uh, frightening state of mind. He came, passed me, went up. I also followed him. When he went up, he took the turn to the uh, corridor, right hand. He took the right hand corridor. He left room number one, he left room number two, he left room number, in front of room number three, he stood there. Mm. So, he stood this side, I, I stood this side, mm -hmm. here. Inside the room, Mayor Baba was sitting on the floor, on the carpet, mm -hmm. backing wall. Yeah. There was no in, uh, window yeah. the other side. Yeah. Baba was sitting on the carpet, on floor and backing the wall, Baba was sitting like this. We call it in Persian Kashapa. It is just like cross leg. Mm -hmm. And I saw, I saw a sword mm. in Baba's lap, on Baba's lap. Mm. Now, the man stood there and he spoke Persian to Mayor Baba. He said, Ya Hazrat, Jangi Azim dar Aulam dar gir kardas, khuruj be he said, Meher Baba, great war broke in this world, please come out. While Baba was sitting on the floor, on the carpet, Baba rose his hand and made like this, mm. through intuition it came to my mind and to that man's that Baba says, time has not come. So that man left that place and went away. In the meantime, Baba was sitting inside and I was looking at Baba. Baba was exactly physically as he was in 1941. Mm -hmm. 
In the meantime, it became more audible, mm. as if they are killing and coming close, very close. Yeah. The man came again, in a very horrified state of mind, trembling with fear. Yazrat, thou man ay jank bena wao ye digar dar gir karda as khurud be parmoy. He said, Baba, the region of war, the region of war, mm-hmm. widened. Yeah. The circle became bigger. War spread to new places. Please come out. Baba, again, while sitting in this position, he rose his this hand, right hand, and made sign like this. Mm. Through intuition, it came to my mind that Baba says that still time has not come. The man also felt like this. Baba did not speak, but Baba made like this. Mm. In, in Baba's time, Baba would make like this, um sound, just like, mm. not more than that. Mm-hmm. It is common, we know all this. So that man left. I was standing in my place. For the third time, which is the last time, that man came, appeared, in a very frightening state of mind, and he said, Ya Hazrat, Harga khuruj nafar ma'i, yak nafar dar alam zindana mi He said, Baba, if you won't come out, there will not be a single person alive in this world. Baba said, hmm. Just like this. Hmm. Time has come. And Baba immediately, when Baba made like that sound like this, hmm, it came to, through intuition, to my mind, and to the man's mind that Baba says, now time, time has come. And Baba grabbed the sword, big sword, mm-hmm. and started to get up from, from ground to get up. And at that time, I woke. Now I tell you vividly mm-hmm. the meaning behind Baba's sayings and Baba's gesture and everything. The, each time of the coming of the man, the man came one time, first time, second time, third time. In the third time, Baba came out. Baba rose to, get, to come out. Each time of the coming of the man depicts World War I, World War II, World War Three. This means in World War Three, Baba will come out. This was it. Now, Baba was in room number three, and the three times coming of the man, that also three. Three multiplying three becomes nine. Nine multiply in nine, eighty-one. Now this year, this is eighty-one year, nineteen eighty-one. So in this year, nineteen eighty-one, definitely war will break in this world which culminate to the second, no, to the third world war and uh, which will be turned to atomic war at the end. Mm. And at that time, Baba will manifest himself to the world. Mm. And the, the carnage, the biggest carnage, mm. which I saw, it was Armageddon. Mm. Armageddon, which is in Bible, and they say at the Israel side, there will be in the Middle East, mm-hmm. somewhere, mm-hmm. there will be Armageddon, mm-hmm. that 200 million people will fight with each other and will be killed. And uh, this all time has come for Mer Baba to break his silence, to manifest himself like that. This uh, story, you know, this dream, which is a very fact dream, mm-hmm. I told twice to Baba, and uh, several times Americans, other Americans, they have filmed me, mm. they have taken my sound through tape recorders, mm. through film, and today I'll, I also say out here. Yeah. Uh, did, did Baba have any reactions to this dream? You said you mentioned it twice. No, I tell you, Baba, Baba's things is secret. Baba is secretive. Baba never reveals his plan to the world. Mm-hmm. If Baba would say, oh, yes, yes, it will be 1981, it would be 
improper. Mm. It will affect his work, yeah. which always Baba does secretly, secretly, yeah. secretly. Baba just like an ocean. Baba said like this. He made like that, like that. Baba did yeah. not say. Baba did not deny it, and Baba did not say like this. I uh, told uh, the dream to Baba, but I did not uh, tell Baba that I feel yeah. in 1981. You will break your silence, mm. you will manifest to the world. I did not uh, say this. This is my interpretation. Right. Your feeling. This is my feeling, my interpretation, and I feel mm. uh, it is 100% correct <laughs> uh, like that. But you know? Allah, here we are. Yeah. This is January 11th, ah. 1981, so you're saying within yeah. this next year yeah. something ah. yes, catastrophic yes, yes. is going to happen. See, the Third World War definitely will start this year. Mm. It is already we know that Iran hostages. There, there are Russian troops in Afghanistan. One more move, any side, and it, it will be uh, upset the balance of the world. Mm -hmm. And then, just quickly, things will take place. Like that, you know. Uh, Alaba? Yes. Um, here's an interesting question. I, we've heard you talk, uh, yes. those of us who come here, and describe the catastrophes that are going to happen. Then yes, it's, yes. All of this is inevitable. Yes. But here, you are a man who lived with Meher Baba, who is known as the compassionate father. Yes, yes. Why, why do you think, first of all, that such a thing as catastrophe could happen, and how is it at all in God's plan? Hmm. For now I tell you. To happen? Now I tell you. You have a son. Mm -hmm. You are father. Mm -hmm. Now, that son unfortunately uh, brought up tumor in his stomach. Mm -hmm. Tumor, you know. Yeah. Now, you show it to the doctor. And the doctor says, uh, operation is needed. Mm -hmm. If you not operate, child will die. Mm -hmm. You know. Child of 20 years, yeah. 25 years like this, will die. Mm -hmm. So, it is it is a must that you should take him to the doctor and undergo the operation. After that, he will get life, new health, new good like this. If not this, things like that. Because world's tumors, world, uh, the, the, uh, the dwellers of this world did such a wrong action, wrong activity, wrong, big crimes. Mm. That that crying took a form of tumor in the stomach of the uh, faith to God and religion. Mm -hmm. Means all religion, not only Christianity, mm -hmm. all religion. Yeah. All the train of humanity derailed. Yeah. Mm. When the train is derailed, mm. the engineers will come with cranes, this, that, to relay the train and yeah. make it go yeah. like that. We need an awakener because of our wrongdoings, crimes, sins, yeah. all put together, it created tumor in the stomach of humanity mm. and therefore a doctor is needed. Doctor is Mer Baba, mm. his world awakener, he has come, he will do his job. If he not do his job, a time will come that all will perish, all will perish. I give you one example here, okay. the befitting example. Mm. You have a box of apple in your house. Mm. In that box, three fold, means three hundred apples become rotten. Mm. One hundred apple is good. Mm. If you delay, if you not start out, that 300 ap apples which are affected, mm -hmm. which are rotten, it will affect the 100 ones which are good. So, our brain says, our wisdom says, that we should sort out, mm -hmm. make the rotten out, mm -hmm. take the rotten out, clean the box, keep them, yeah. so that they not affect the yeah. So, in this way, God, Meher Baba has come, to purify this mankind's heart. So, for that, physical purification is also needed. Mm. Like that, you know? Yeah. 
like this. But do you feel that uh, this sort of catastrophe yes. that, that brings about devastating results, yes. where worlds are just destroyed? The, yes, that, it is destroyed. Definitely. But people will be able to pick up the pieces and from that something new will start? See, after this catastrophe and after this destruction, which is going to happen to this world, man and material both, mm. physical destruction, yeah. man, material both. After that, when Baba breaks his silence, the word of God, the, the voice of his breaking, it will affect the heart of man. And with that, the root of enmity, hatred, jealousy, mm. and all the b bad things mm. from the heart of man, it will cut off and thrown away with a new heart, shining heart, good feeling, mm. brotherly, fe brotherly feeling, man will become man again. And out of the good seed, new world will come up. Mm. But this will this take is, a lot of work. Uh, this is a needed. Yeah. This is a must. Mm. Baba has come to do this and Baba will do it. Mm. Baba says, I am a wakener. Mm. Baba has come to awaken this world. Mm. Baba has not Baba has not done his job yet. Mm. But Baba is going to mm. do it very soon. Yeah. When he is going to do very soon? When all turn to God. When all tell, say, Oh God, where are you? Save us. We are burning. At that time. Mm -hmm. A time will come that destruction will prevail all over the world. Mm -hmm. All nations, all countries will suffer. Suffer. Mm -hmm. It will be with this armament, with this uh, earthquakes, natural, unnatural, mm. disease, all put together, all put together, yeah. then three-fourth will go, mm. one-fourth will remain. Mm -hmm. Of this one-fourth, which is good seed, which is unaffected seeds, mm. new world will come up, new humanity will come up, new brotherhood will come up, yeah. then these armaments will not be there. The Treaty yeah. for not producing armaments will have good meaning mm. and no one will create uh, armaments yeah. and world, our world will be paradise yeah. like that. Alaba, would seem sometimes people come here and they hear stories like you're telling me now uh -huh. uh, and in themselves they become a little bit frightened uh -huh. hearing this, what's going to happen. And besides being frightened mm. for themselves personally, mm. some people think, how could a man like this, mm. who was Meher Baba's disciple, mm. how could he be thinking of things like no, that? No, I tell you. I, I have heard, I, I reply you are. See, among the Mandali, only the Ire Jasavala had that courage and that daring to draw world's attention to Baba's world. Mm. That don't, don't go after the bogus Sadgurus, bogus these, you know, yeah. bogus Mahatmas, those who pretend that... Uh, they, they copy Mer Baba, they yeah. pretend Mer Baba. Don't go after that. Uh, Baba, said, Baba said not to pay attention to them. Baba warned us. Iraj had that courage to say things like that. Mm -hmm. I have, Baba gave me that courage to say things of this other side. Mm -hmm. Because if not a single of the Mandali say things like this, People will say, what is that? None of the Mandali said things like this. Mm. How is that? Mm. One of them should say like this. Yeah. Now, all of us say things like this. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I feel within mm. that some voice tells yeah. me to say out. Mm. To say out. Although, uh, some others told me not to say things yeah. like this mm. and be reserved like this. Mm. But all, day, all the time, Baba tells me to say out. Yeah. Say out, let others know. So I say out. Alaba, when I hear this, for me personally, mm. it, I don't become scared uh -huh. hearing this, but the most unusual thing is that I don't feel any hatred from you or any bitterness. Uh -huh. When you say this, uh -huh. it comes from a different perspective. Yes. Whereas uh -huh. a, as a man, let's uh -huh. say, that hates the world and mm. doesn't want any part of it, 
that what from can you describe something? What stems these kind of thoughts, and how is it inspired that that these kind of thoughts and visions come up in you? Uh, because I feel, I feel someone tells me all the time within to say, to say, so that they should know that you have said. Mm -hmm. Is it some sort of inspiration? You know, mm -hmm. inspiration. I am inspired within to say. Otherwise, I would not say yeah. like that, you know. Now, the source of inspiration that you ah. live by, would you have to say that this is Baba guiding me? If yes, you... of course. It's Baba. If, if Baba, see, not a single leaf will, will, uh, quiver? Yes, quiver, shake, make, move without Baba wanting. Mm. If, Baba, if Baba did not like my saying things like this, I would become sick, I would die, I would not be here. Mm. Now I am here, and Baba inspires me to say things like this, I say. So you have direct confidence that he is yes. backing you in this? Yes, De definitely. Mm. Uh, 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 often I see Baba in dream, mm. Baba appears in my dream, Baba showed me things like this. Clearly Baba says that these things is going to happen. Even in, Baba, in Baba's book, in God Man, page 146, it is mentioned that. Page, God Man, page 146. Mm -hmm. Shall I bring the book and read it here? Sure. Oh, it's mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Good time for it. page 146. Mm. Baba says, During these ten days of my seclusion, I shall decide definitely the length of time this war will last. This, uh, Baba said in uh, 40 years ago, in mm. World War II, mm -hmm. this thing, mm -hmm. and exactly when it will end. Mm -hmm. Before I speak and before peace reigns, this peace reigns means real peace. Mm -hmm. Real peace. Mm -hmm. Peace reigns. There must be a real world war. Real world war means third world war. Mm -hmm. Real world war, very big, bigger scale. Mm -hmm. This is third world war. Real world war, in which India will involve 100%. And places under Muslim rule, such as Iran, Afghanistan, Turkey, Egypt, will also be entrapped, while Italy, Russia, and America will play a very active part. If this war prolongs in the above mentioned manner, I shall speak in August 1941. In which case, for a year, into bracket, from August 1940 to August 1941, bracket close, I shall, with certain of my male and female disciples, go to a stay on the boundary of Russia and India, or on some island across the ocean. If the war does not prolong, then I shall think it over as to whether to go to the boundary or to go somewhere else. My speaking is largely connected with the world war and peace. Peace does not mean truth. Truth does not necessarily have to happen. Truth will not make me speak. Before the end of the world war, means third world war, when peace is just on the point of appearing, I shall speak. <laughs> See? So clearly Baba said, I shall speak. I shall speak just before permanent peace. Mm. See, what will happen? Mm. The nation of the world, after so fight, so much destruction, so this and that, they say, all right, for God's sake, let us make peace. They make a round table conference and the heads of government of the world, they come and to discuss and to make a treaty for peace. At that time, when they, when they want to make it sign, at that time, Bob will break his silence 
uh, it, it is the breaking of silence and the simultaneously the, the signing of the document simultaneously and that will be like and Baba will make it in such a way that as Baba wishes that yeah. then the, those countries who, who are divided boundaries of each country automatically it will be adjusted oh it is proper proper I am, I am fully satisfied like that. You know, just yeah. like you give a piece, big bar of chocolate to a child. Mm. Child becomes very happy. Oh, I wanted this. You give me. I don't want anything else. Oh, you gave me this. Mm. Like that, you know. It will be fully satisfied and to the heart satisfaction for all. Mm. Baba, Baba breaks the silence. Oh, the political problem, it will automatically adjust it. Mm. No. Like that. Oliver, you're talking about possibly the greatest disaster that yes. ever happened in the universe. Uh -huh. And yet, when I'm listening to you, why am I feeling so much warmth in my heart? Uh -huh. that's, what, what, that's what makes uh -huh. me wonder. Uh -huh. you, you speak with such conviction that I'm not quite sure. It's like you're talking about something so monumental, yet there's something warm about it that at least is communicated to me. Why do you think something like that is? Do you know? Because Baba inspires within me to say things like that. Mm. Really? What about, have you had any other dreams that you feel are of special significance that... Uh, the other like dream that I had, i show you this. Gorgeous. Yes. I'll show you this thing, you hold this thing. Okay. Mm. Mm. On 30th, 10th, 80. 30th, 10th is October. October is it? 10th yes. is October. Yeah. On 30th, October 19, 1980, mm. I saw in dream these three matchbox. Mm. This is Vinco matchbox. Mm -hmm. All of one quality, mm -hmm. one name, Vimco. Yeah. I saw in dream three of these matchbox, and uh, one matchbox was kept, I, I saw like this. So I could read, it is Vimco. Mm. Vimco is W I M C O, Western India Match, Matches Company. Mm. All right. Now I saw these three matchbox in dream. In the morning I was thinking, what does this mean? Mm. What it could be? Then it uh, clear to me that uh, to this dream Baba tells me that the uh, Third World War will begin in three months, you know. So 30th October after that become November, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh. November, December, January. So matchbox, is matchbox, matchbox itself is a fire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We make fire with this yeah. matchbox. Quality of his fire. Three is three. Mm. And World War, this W mm -hmm. is of world and war. Mm -hmm. Third World War. I involving, you know, mm -hmm. M, Middle East, CO, countries and communist countries. Mm. Third World War, Involving Middle East communist countries uh, starts in three in three months. Mm. The end of the match is the end of the month. Month mm -hmm. in three months, World War Third. This one you call three yeah. three match box. Three World War Third is starting involving Middle East communist countries. Mm -hmm. This is the whole world. Yeah. And uh, now we are passing through January. This is, today is January 11th, mm. we have 19 days in hand, 20 days. Mm. We have 20 days in hand, uh, in these 20 days something will happen, which will uh, spark, uh, start like that. And uh, also Baba said in Guru Parsa, 
This is a very special thing, very secret thing. Baba said, war will start with conventional armaments. Third world war will start with conventional armaments. Then there will be a truce. Then all of a sudden, truce will be broken and starting dropping atom bombs. Mm -hmm. This thing will happen. See, they will start war with conventional armaments. Yeah. After that armaments with both sides agreed. After that they will say, we did the wrong thing. Now no more war, stop it, stop it. And then they will stop it. And then after that, like that. And any nation use it, the other nation will also use it. Yeah. And that is the destruction of this world. When they, when, they, when they drop atom bombs, ocean flat in, create in the ocean. Water will enter the cities, mm. port cities. There will be flat. People will die of the water. Then there will be corpses. There will be epidemic. People will die of disease. People will die of fire. People will die of water. People will die of uh, uh, no food. Uh, all sorts of it put together. Because this world has four billion population. Each billion is thousand million. This four thousand million population is this world population of now. Out of this, three thousand million will finish. One thousand million will remain. This one thousand million will be good one, good hearts, and new world will come up with new humanity and everything will be cozy, fine. In short, this world, which is now a hell, will turn to paradise. Why I say hell? Because of the robbery, train robbery, bank robbery, chain snatching, children go to school, someone comes, kidnaps them, no one can, no, no child can go to the street, someone comes, snatch handbag, someone comes in the night, in the house, and come on, with revolver, come on, take out all your money, everything, things happen in this world. How one can live in this world? Every side is robbery, you know, corruption, uh, adulteration, all these bad things together. So, only, only God knows how much bad filled in this world. So, Baba has come, Autar Mer Baba has come, to save this world. He came, he as a doctor, universal doctor, mm. he brought the right medicine for this world. His right medicine first is to destroy this world of the bad elements and then fill them, fill the heart of man with love, love to each other, soft-heartedness, kindness, compassion and things like this. This first, this phase must come, after that, that phase will come. Alaba, if you had a chance to describe what would be your vision of, let's say, the way that people should live on earth, then let's say, would you want them in the way that they think of God, to the way that they have everyday dealings, just the vision in your yeah, heart, what is it? I know that. See, the thing is that by telling, by talking and by power of word, no one can change because the heart has become dark and black. i show you one example. This is a mirror. Mm. This mirror is mm. clean mirror. I can see my face in this to this mirror. Yeah. Now, if I put you know dirt and mud on this yeah. on the surface of this, I will not be able to see it. If I want to see it, mm -hmm. I should clean it. Yeah. This is the exact symbol, simile of man's heart. Too much sin, 
Too much bad actions, too much crimes create a dirt on the surface of this mirror which is the heart of man. So Mayor Baba knows because of this dirt the, it will not reflect the light. So now what should be done? It has come to such an ex extent and to such an a stage that Mayor Baba has to do his work, his work if he wants to save this world. And therefore Mayor Baba came with the right time he brought buckets of water, soaps, cloth to clean these, so that we can see the light of God within our hearts. And this is only Meher Baba can do it. No other person can do, can do his job. Meher Baba is only capable to do his job because he is God, he is Avatar. There are many sadhus, there are many bogus saints, there are many bogus sadgurus. When the light comes, when the sun comes, comes so when, when the sun dawns, a star goes. We can't see a star. When the sun is not there, we can see the star. When sun comes up, the stars disappear. So in the same way, when Mer Baba manifests himself to the world, when Mer Baba breaks his silence, all the bogus gurus will go aside. Alaba, is it part of your personal longing that you would want to see that manifestation within your yes. lifetime? Yes, yes. I am craving. I am craving day and night. You know, my time, my time passes in such a way that uh, when newspaper comes mm -hmm. from Nagar to here, the first thing I do, I go and see the paper. Mm -hmm. I am not interested in any other news. I am interested only to that news which, which brings Baba's manifestation close. Mm -hmm. And that is of the political side of this world, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I tell you one thing here, the day Russia enters Iran, mm -hmm. from that day, mm -hmm. within 18 months, Baba will manifest. Mm -hmm. Baba showed me a dream, mm -hmm. and I say here, yeah. now, how Russia enters Iran? We see it is very near. Mm -hmm. Russia will enter Iran any day because the time is right. American hostages is there, they are not uh, listening to this, and uh, America will try to get the hostages out, they may enter Iran, and Russia is there, Russia will also there to prevent this. Anyhow, it is Baba's doing. It is, no one can hinder such thing. Only Baba's divine hand does this thing. And, uh, the day Russia enters Iran, Baba will, the one and a half year, Baba will manifest. I want to believe. Yeah. What is the place for the purpose light? light no, no light. No, no light no. will occur. Oh, it's not 6 o'clock. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's no, go. I think. Forget. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you want to ask anything else. Yeah. Sir. So, what I'm sort of, the feeling I think you've conveyed very well, no. what your personal longing is, yes. what you feel yes, yes. will be the outcome oh. of the world. Uh, but what I want to ask you is, what about that side of God that Meher Baba showed, the side of compassion that although as a doctor he sees this is necessary to do, what about his heart melting and just say, but so much suffering, they won't be able to I take tell you, this. I tell you, father takes his son, father knows, he is going to take it to hospital under the under the doctor's knife. Yeah, yeah. All right. Doctor's knife is a very bad thing. Yeah. All right. Father taking his son mm -hmm. to the hospital is out of compassion. Mm -hmm. It is love for the child. Mm -hmm. Doctor doing his job mm -hmm. to cut the stomach open to, in order to take the tumor out, that is also at most kindness of the doctor. Mm -hmm. if, if we want this world to be a good world, it has to be like that. Mm. Meher Baba is compassionate father. Meher Baba is God, full of mercy. Mm. In order to save this world, he has to do like this. 
So you're saying this destruction that yes. you're talking about is in itself an act of compassion. No, yes, an act of compassion, uh, definitely. Definitely. See, father, father kills his, his son. Father kills his son. Why he kills his son? Because his son did the wrong thing. So father kills his son. Caning is also a sort of love. But I think that's where a lot of the misunderstanding comes from. No, 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 no. When you talk like this, people think that it's a, maybe out of some negative feeling for the world or something that... But it's what you're telling us is it's it is so wishing for the best for I the world. You, I tell you, see, my dear brother, it is so simple. I have not washed these clothes for mm. two years. Mm. Now in a stage has come that I can't wear it. Mm. It became very bad smell mm. and I, I can't move with this to any society, to any mm. bazaar, to anything. So what's to be done now? It, go, it should go to the washing place with the chemicals, hot water, boil water, in order to become something wearable. Mm. Mm. So this is the position of the world. Mm. If I not do this, the world itself will go. Mm. It is Baba's compassion, Baba's kindness that has come among us to save us. Mm. Uh, right. This is the way, this is the way of saving. What's but, that? Uh, but how can we become brave enough to accept His compassion in whichever form it may come? We should, we should Ask Baba, guide us, Baba, in a right way. Give us your love, Baba. Give us your love. Guide us in proper way. Correct us. We should not interfere in Baba's action. See, when you give some piece of cloth to the cutter, to the tailor, you are not preventing tailor to cut this, you know. You're not preventing. Yeah. It is up to tailor to cut it this way, that way, yeah. in order to make a shirt. Mm -hmm. If you interfere in the work of tailor, mm -hmm. how the tailor can make a shirt? Yeah. Exactly. We should be docile. We should be surrendered to Baba. Let's do his work. It is so simple. Any man, any man, anyone with a common sense knows this. It's so clear. Mm. It's very good. When you go to a, in a barber mm -hmm. to cut the hair tree, Will you tell the barber, don't touch my hair with scissors, you know, don't cut it, don't, will you yes. tell it? Of course. Then, then the, the barber will say, why you have come here? <laughs> See, you must be docile, docile and surrender to the barber and let do his work. He says, put it like this, all right, like that. Now put it like that, all right. Then he can do his work. Yeah. If you say, no, I will say it like that, don't touch me with scissors, how it can work? Like that. But we have such strong opinions and feelings that we don't even want to allow God to do His work. Mm. See, Baba does His work in a proper way. It is not that just uh, Baba has given a very good simile that uh, someone gave this uh, one uh, uh, rusty vessel yes. to someone to clean it. Mm. One person said, uh, I, I will do it in one day. Mm. The other said, it, it will take me 40 days. It, if you give to the one-day man, he will just burn it. Then it will be useless for to use it, reuse it. Mm -hmm. But he would take 40 days. After 40 days, it will be some usable, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You can use it yeah. again. Yeah. Like that. Let Baba, the best thing, we should give it to Baba, surrender to Baba, let, not, not interfering in his work, and Baba is God and will do his work properly. Oliver, just one last question. Yes. In your daily life, how do you think of Baba? How do you remember Baba? I, I, I think uh, uh, of Baba, with every thinking of Baba, I request him to manifest himself soon. To bring the world destruction in order to peace come to soon, to world soon. Because I know, without that, it will not come. Now I give one, one family. I ask you some money. Yeah. Five thousand dollars, mm. I ask you. Yeah. You tell me before tomorrow, mm. before dawn, you know, mm -hmm. I give you hand over the check. Mm. I, 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 uh, I take your word. Yeah. You know, I trust you. Yeah. I say nothing. Mm. Now I forget you, mm. and I forget check. I just thinking on one thing. 
tomorrow dawn. You know, yeah. before sun comes up, I am just my focus is there because I know the moment that time comes, you give me the check. Mm-hmm. So in the same way, like yeah. that. Your anticipation yes. is great. Yes, my anticipation is that. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, uh, this one request you too. Let this tape hear by all. We'll try to do it. Thank you. Ah, do it. Yes. And leave it to Baba, and yeah. it will be very successful. You know. Okay. People will be grateful for you to hear, to let them hear such a tape. Okay. Thank you, yeah. and such a feeling. Yeah. Thank you. Le Baba. Le Baba. Le Baba. Le Baba.